The Declaration of Independence is one of the greatest achievements of man in history. It is great not only because it gave birth to a nation, but because it created a framework of liberty and a clear statement as to why liberty and freedom are necessary to the greatness of humankind. It also creates an understanding of the proper role of government and lays the foundation upon which the Constitution was built. Here are just a few of the great truths that continue to gain honor today because Thomas Jefferson and our founders were so educated, insightful, articulate, and inspired. Mankind has unalienable rights, granted by their creator and not by government. Governments do not create these rights, nor do they have the right to take them away from law-abiding citizens. These rights include, but are not limited to, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. You may notice that happiness is not a right granted by government or God, but the ability to pursue happiness is. One other unalienable right that was mentioned in the first draft was property. While Jefferson and others felt that ownership and personal control of property that had been created or legally purchased was one of these rights, it was argued that some might think that governments would need to be in the business of providing property to citizens and that was diametrically opposed to the right they did believe in, the pursuit of happiness, which included the creation, ownership, and control of property without government interference, as long as the rights of others are not infringed upon. Governments receive their powers to govern, their just powers, from the consent of the governed. In other words, the people have the right of self-government, and only the powers that they, the people, collectively agree to allow the government to exercise are permissible to that government. The government is rightly there to serve the people, not the other way around. It is the duty of the government to protect the rights and safety of the governed. When government becomes abusive of these rights, that government should then be changed or abolished. Abolishing or separating from government, especially by violence, should never be done lightly or without extensive evidence of the absolute despotism of the offending government. These founders, 56 in all, re representing all the colonies, pledged their lives, fortunes, and sacred honor to these principles of freedom. It is evidenced by the mention of deity four times in this document that these great leaders and courageous statesmen agreed in general that God is involved and properly referred to in the affairs of men and states. These concepts are the basis upon which our understanding of the principles of freedom have come about and they are the basis of what we need to do today to maintain and recover those freedoms and that liberty for which they and many others in our history have paid so great a price. We should examine our own level of commitment and understanding to see if we are creating for our children and their children a world of freedom or allowing that world to slip into servitude, debt, and sorrow. My name is Sean McCausland and I'm running for Congress in the 2nd Congressional District here in Utah. Thank you.